So are you looking for something that bridges the gap between a brake barrel air gun or a PCP air gun? Well, I think I found it guys. This is the brand new Seneca MK2 and 22 caliber. As you see it here, it is a pump up air gun. So every stroke you increase the air pressure in the holding cylinder here to get the power desired you want. Up to 15 strokes and Pyramid Air did a good video on this rifle showing you pretty much real world results what you're going to get. So we're going to show that today with this rifle and I'm going to be shooting the Crossman Premier Hollow Point 14 3 grain pellet. But I'm going to go over some quick things with you real quick. As you see, it looks almost identical to a Diana Storm Rider. It's like almost the same exact build and everything. My opinion, this one's just a little bit smoother than the Diana Storm Rider I had. But you see here, it comes with an adapter so you can put on something at the end of the muzzle to quieten it down. Even though it's not that loud to begin with. You have your standard dovetail rail system. And this one is magazine fed. I have never seen a pump up air gun with a magazine before. So again, you have a magazine and you get a single shot tray with this. So I advise, as always, when you get a new air gun, read the manual thoroughly to make sure you're doing everything you can before shooting so that you have the best experience possible. But anyways, now that you've seen what I got, let me get it on the bench here and take some shots for you now that I got the scope here bore sighted. All right, I'm set up here at 25 yards with the Dragonfly MK2. Make sure it's cocked so I can pump it up. Okay, 10 pumps off the bag here with the FX pocket chronograph running. I have a Barska 3 to 9 by 32 hooked up on top on the dovetail. That's all this gun comes with. See if I can hit these targets down here. Should be pretty good bore sighted. Using the Crossman Premier 14 3 grain hollow point. Really inexpensive pellet. I really like them. That was 10 pumps. You can go all the way up to 15. The problem is, for me, this is going to be my new hunting rifle in the woods for squirrel and small game. I don't want to make a lot of noise, so I don't want to pump it more than I have to, more than enough to take the shot and ethically take the animal. And as you've seen, 661 feet a second and a 25 yard zero is plenty. There's 10. And what's cool about this gun is you get the, the PCP uh, regulated feel from it or I should say the shooting style because you know if you're controlling the amount of air that's in the cylinder that you're pumping up you're golden you should be spot on every every shot it's like it's almost regulated Not bad. Might have to fine tune the scope just a hair more for hunting season, but still not too bad down there for the target size.
That was right on the money. I think the gun is warming up to the temperature out here because it is super hot right now. We're talking like 100 degrees out. I'm not even kidding. We're in a temperature advisory right now. That was probably 11, oh well. Yeah, I can see the gun sweating. All of those down there would be definitely small gang kills at that yardage. Definitely headshots easy with this gun. And it's not that it's loud or anything, but you do get the half inch by 20 threads. So you can put on a muzzle device and it comes with the adapter here for whatever you want to do. Uh, it is ultra quiet if you want to put something on like a Donny FL or an LDC or moderator or whatever. But can't complain for what it does down there with inexpensive pellets and for what I'm going to use it for. It'll definitely do the job. So you guys have heard what it sounds like without the muzzle device on out of the box which it's not too bad. I would say it's it's fairly backyard friendly. But with the Donny FL Tonto on here, let me show you just how quiet it can be at the same amount of pumps, which I was pumping it up 10 times. Again, it can go all the way up to 15, which I'll do that in a second just to show you how powerful this is. Okay, you ready? 663. That was pretty quiet, wasn't it? Let me do one more. So it is like mouse spark quiet with that on there. Okay, now that you've seen what I shot it at at 10 pumps, I'm going to show you the most powerful it can be with the 14.3 grain Crossman hollow point at 15 pumps. There we go. That's about what they're claiming uh, out of this gun. That sounds about right, about 740-ish. So 17 foot-pounds at most for this rifle sounds about right guys well everybody i appreciate you checking out my review of the seneca dragonfly mk2 i've never shot the mk1 but i thought what the heck i haven't shot a pump air gun in a long long time and you know this is pretty cool now the only downside is you actually have to pump it up whereas you know a pcp you have to air it up or a brake barrel you cock it once this one you got to cock it multiple times to get the air built up in the system to take a shot but with that said it is still it still has a place and in my eyes this is a perfect gun for short range pesting hunting whatever have you and you can you know set the power yourself it's not like a brake barrel where one stroke is that's it and whatever power output it puts this one you could change the power output up to 15 pumps 
and again around the 17 foot pounds of energy mark at the muzzle that's not too bad for this little rifle and again you may or may not notice this resembles a diana storm rider which i have had so almost identical except they put a pneumatic pump in here so you can cock it and pump it up and hold air now this does come with a vent so when you cock it it does bleed out eventually but other than that the only thing that i have noticed because i've had it for a minute prior to this video is that this handle with the way you have to work it and everything make sure that the screws are tight uh, i had to retighten them because the handle here wanted to get really loose on me because there is a little bar in there that it mounts to for this butterfly patented setup here but other than that guys i can't complain for what this thing can do and for what it is and for around the 200 dollars price point you know again for 200 bucks you can get a decent brake barrel or you can get this an adjustable power which has the accuracy of a pcp and it seems to be almost regulated because you can adjust the power yourself so if you're always shooting at 10 pumps you're going to get that consistency of a pcp rifle downrange and it comes with the magazine also which helps or you could put the single shot tray in if you really wish but other than that there is no complaints for me because the next best thing to get into the pcp game you're going to be spending a lot of money almost double what this rifle costs to get a decent pcp rifle a budget one and then you have to buy all the gear on top of it so for the price point this thing cannot be beat again for what it is so I appreciate you watching as always, guys. Thanks again. I hope to catch you on the next one.